A physicist introduces a thin piece of glass into the path of a laser beam in order to delay the beam. The light of the laser beam has a single wavelength L in air. While the beam is inside the glass, it completes 10 more complete oscillations compared to the same beam passing through the same thickness of air. The speed of light in air is C and the speed of light in glass is two thirds C. What is the thickness of the glass? So if we call the thickness of the glass X, then we have X over the wavelength in glass, let's call that lambda, take away X over the wavelength in air. These will tell us, so the length divided by the wavelength will tell us how many wavelengths fit into that section. And so if we compare the difference between these two, we should get 10. So X over L will tell us how many complete wavelengths are in air, and then X over lambda will tell us how many complete wavelengths there are in glass. And because the speed of light in glass is two thirds of C, and we know that when a wave or light, for example, passes through, passes through a different medium, its frequency remains unchanged. So the wavelength here, lambda, would be two thirds of L because any changes in speed would be reflected in just the wavelength as the frequency is the same for both. As in, in both media, we have the same frequency. So if we substitute this lambda is two thirds L, we get X over two thirds L, which means that we have three over two X, take away X over L equals 10. And then three over two X take away X is a half X. And then if we move the L to the other side, we get half X equals 10 L. So X equals 20 L. So the answer is E. So you could find that there's actually 30 cycles or 30 wavelengths completed in glass and 20 completed in air, if you wanted to find that. But we don't have much time, so we just have to take the answer that we find for the thickness of the glass, which is 20, 20 L. Hopefully that makes sense, but if you have any questions, please do let me know.